a classic chord progression. It's been used in so many songs. Some of the oldies here in this video, 10 of them, and we're going to go through them just one right after the other. We're just going to keep it going. I'll talk more about the teacher side of this at the end of the video and in order to help you on your ukulele journey, but let's just dive in. Let's quickly look at those chords. You need to play a C chord. Then you need to reach across with your middle finger to the second fret of the G string. That's the biggest reach we have to make. Then comes the F and you just put your index finger first fret on the E string. Now you're going to need to pivot a little on that index finger bringing your hand up towards the headstock a bit so that these two fingers can fit in on the second fret of the C and the E string. Let's talk about the strumming. I'm going to be using a two beat strum, but I'm going to be kind of swinging it most of the way. What do I mean? Well, this down up is not going to be even. It's going to be a little bit more length on that first down of the down up. It'll sound like this. Shoo, do, shoo. get it. I, I, you know, we go through this, you'll get the feel of it. Well, speaking of the feel of it, first five songs, each chord just gets one of that pattern. So it's C, A minor, F, and G7. But once we get a little bit further along in our chronology, like Run Around Sue, you have to play it four times on each one of those chords. So C, two, three, four. And I may slip into doing a bum ditty strum. Don't let that throw you. Bum ditty, I'm, I'm just brushing the top two for the first down on this. So ditty bum, ditty bum, ditty bum, ditty. We get to Duke of Earl, and Duke of Earl switches up in the middle of the song. You start out by doing two, one, two, one, two. In the middle of the song, all of a sudden you go to four. I'll put little reminders on that uh, on the screen. Oh, and speaking of reminders, do you want the chords to go along this in paper, hard copy? I'll have a link down in the description. I will also pin it in a comment so that you can get these for free. My patrons, of course, get this for free, and I want to thank all my patrons for your lovely support. This just would not be possible without you, and in fact, it was my patron, David, that gave me the idea to do this video. Thank you, David. One, two, oh, one, two, ready, begins. Swim. 
helps you on your ukulele journey again I, I read all my comments and I respond to all of them at least at this point I, I can continue to do that on a weekly basis let's do a little teacher talk on how this can help you I'll bet you 85% of my students maybe even more have real challenges putting everything together and and if that's you I get it everybody gets it you know you're having to do one hands doing one thing the other hands doing the other thing you're singing you're reading words and chord chart uh, symbols chord symbols and yeah it's a lot to handle it's a multitasking event and as humans we like to think we're better at multitasking than we actually are here's what I would recommend seven days just take singing off the plate just strum and figure the chords and follow along in rhythm. That is a huge task in of itself. What's going to happen is you are going to create a pathway between what your brain knows, because your brain has already got this. It's getting your muscles all engaged. And so that pathway between your brain and your uh, hands is an electro current. And you're going to establish a pathway. The electricians are going to come in and wire that up and it's going to start becoming a lot more automatic. And then take some of the sections of this song where the words repeat like dream, doing those that section or hey, hey, bum da da da, or what is it? Boop boop did it tad and what I'm chew, boop boop did it tad and what I'm chew. Doing that will just get things together for you so that you can do it a whole lot more fluently. And then take your favorite song whichever one that is and just do that one and then maybe add another one and so I would say that in a month's time things are going to start feeling a lot more solid do it every day so that path doesn't grow over and get weedy just keep the electrical current going every day and you will make that kind of connections because we really are building nerves your body is building nerves to get what you know up here down to your hands and out your mouth let me know in the comments below i could do another 10 of these that are more contemporary if you'd like to see that, please let me know. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. YouTube should be suggesting some more videos that are in this same vein. And then also thanks to all my patrons. Uh, I could Your encouragement and your financial support really do make this possible. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I am striving to make this a full-time living. Thanks. Take care.